a lot of people coming home, they wasn't in their right state of mind and you still got jokes and all the rest of that stuff. That's because, you know what I'm saying? You know, I didn't, I didn't allow myself to, you know what I'm saying? Let the institution, you know what I'm saying? Take a pole of me where, you know what I'm saying? Where they dictate me. Like, you know, if you read my institution, a lot of times I buck like, yo, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going out there and you know, mow no lawn with no motherfucking grass with no, no, uh, Push you know, with no push no more. If that <laughs> shit ain't got no motor on, I'm not doing that. Yo, put me in a hole. I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? So I was better off in the hole anyway because shit, I go to the hole, I make more money anyway. Cause if you send me a pack of cigarettes, I'm selling them shits for at least four for a book. And if it get pushed down to it, I'm gonna sell you one for a book if it's a, if it's a shortage up there. So I'm making more money in the hole. You know what I'm saying? So what the fuck? I give a fuck. I'm coming out with a hundred books. You know what I'm trying to say? You know what I'm saying? So I didn't really care about that shit. So I was really institutionalized before I even got there. So I just knew what it was. You know what I'm trying to say? Before when I got to there, first thing I'm talking about, yo, I'm, especially when I seen it was a bunch of Dominicans and MCC, I already know what it was. I was like, yo, you know what I'm saying? I'm tearing some shit up and I'm going to make me a knife and the first one get out of line, they're going to get butchered. I ain't got nothing to lose anyway. So one of somebody going to die, either me or them. You know what I'm saying? So that's the attitude I took. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people be saying, yo, look, they be looking at me like, yo, damn, this thing must not have no feelings. I, yeah, I got feelings, you know what I'm trying to say, when it comes to my girl, my family, my kids and all that shit. Of course, I love them, but at the same time, I'm a survivor. I'm going to do what I got to do. You know what I'm trying to say? In other, in other, in other words, before... I'm going to always have that non-approachable look on my face and you, I'm not going to be approached. You know what I'm trying to say? If it do, that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not, like I said, I'm not bragging on no shit. That's just me. You know what I'm saying? The same way I carry myself in the street, the same way I'm going to carry myself in jail. That's the way it is. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not tooting my own home because right now, I don't really tell these stories right here. I'm doing this, like I said, you my man, unique my man, I'm going to do whatever I can for y'all because at the end of the day, when, I, when it's my turn, I want to be able to call y'all and y'all there, regardless of whatever y'all do. But at the same time, I'd rather for another person to tell a story due to the fact, you know what I'm trying to say, they won't think that I'm being arrogant or something like that. You know what I mean? Right. You know, but this is just me. That's just me just being me. You know what I'm saying? You know? Uh, I was watching the video that Unique shot in Miami uh, for your Welcome Home celebration, right? And uh, he put a, a strong emphasis on your power in prison. How were you able to establish that power is it from having been in there so like i said when i came when i you know i you know like i'm a product of our state you know what i'm saying and and our state now is a lot of gangs in it and i'm not downplaying them but gangs is what it is that's a bunch of people that run together but back then, when i was coming to jail it was every man for themselves you know what i'm trying to say so even though i might i might be running the house when you come on rackers island and you come there and you my man if somebody asks you for your sneakers or something like that, nah, nigga, you're going to go and fight whether you lose or not because I'm not going to be there all the time. You know what I'm trying to say? And at the same time, when I came to Rackers Island, it was just like the same way when I came to uh, the federal prison. You know what I'm trying to say? It wasn't a lot of hollow niggas in, in, uh, on the island. So I had to represent straight off the top. You know what I'm saying? And um, the same way when I came to the feds, it wasn't a lot of New York dudes in, in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? So I had to represent off the top. So then I grow, I, you know, during the period of time, the respect don't come because they already know what it is. It's going to be at the end of the day. So you either, we either going, we either going to butcher each other up, you know what I'm saying? Either one of us going to die or we going to butcher each other up or, you know what I'm trying to say, we're going to settle the shit like men or we just going to alleviate the shit. But it's all, it all depends on where you bring it to me. Now, if you bring it to me on this high level where we can't talk, like, cause I'm going to always bring it to you calm. Well, try to keep it down here, but I do, if you all the way up here, then that's what you're going to get. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no need for us to keep talking with that loud shit. You know what I mean? That's right. We can, we can talk or we can war, but we can't talk about war. Right. Is it factual that five guys attempted to kill you in Ordersville and obviously didn't succeed? Nah, that happened in all. In all. They try to say it happened in Lee County, but it ain't happened like that. Lee County, South Carolina? No, nah, in Virginia. Oh, okay. Yeah. What happened when I, 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 uh, one of the homies that was from uh, upstate, me and him got into it over something that he did that was wrong. And I don't want to go into a long story with that, but, you know, I wound up butchering him. He stabbed me one time, and then I wound up going to the hospital because 
where he stabbed me one time. Like I, I got a little nip like this, mm -hmm. but it punched the liver. Mm -hmm. So I had to go to the hospital because when they told me I had to go, I'm like, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Just give me my patch. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Then they, then they but, told you about septus. Right. So what happened was I had to go out. But when I went up to the outside hospital, they said that I was bleeding on the inside. So they had to give me a zipper and, and, and sew that up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it made it look better than what it looked, mm -hmm. than what it was. You know what I'm trying to say? When it got when it got out, but that's the only thing that really happened, you know. But the dudes that was there, they know that, you know, that the homie, he got what he deserved, you know what I'm trying to say? And at the same time, even though I, it could have been worse for me, but, you know, I turned out to be all right, though. Um, conviction on charges such as these typically result in natural life sentences, but you were given a statutory cap on your sentence of uh, 30 year imprisonment. Can you explain for those of uh, those watching what a statutory cap is? It's like when they take certain parts of an indictment out and they give you, let you allow you to cop out to that, that part of the indictment and they dismiss all other accounts. And most of that, most of the time they do that is with a, uh, with a, a global plea where they try to get, you know, a group of people to cop out, you know what I'm saying? So to spare the expense of a trial on the, on the state, I mean, on the, on the, on the, on the, um, on the feds. 